Did you get your bin mo? <laughs> I do when I sit down in the evenings and I play. I just literally pour my heart out. Sometimes there's no thing, there's no song, there's no, you just play what comes out of your heart, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Um, it's crazy, you just sit down and let what is in your hands come out of your hands and let, let the Lord just speak through you. I know you know that.
Somebody that's trying to stand tonight. That is uh, trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out today, yesterday, tomorrow. Lord, give them strength to stand. 
give him strength. I pray that God would inspire you, that he would ignite you, that he would invigorate you, that he would illuminate you, give you revelation, that you would sense the very presence of God tonight wherever you are, right, right where you are, right where you are. Right in your home, in your room, in your bedroom, in the car, wherever you are, that God will give you the strength to see what he has for you. That he would give you vision and insight and give you strength for the journey. It's not been easy for any of us in this season, but God is faithful. He's been faithful.
God. We, we refer to Him, we claim Him, we talk about Him, we preach about Him, we sing about Him. But it really is all about Him. None of this stuff matters. None of this matters. None of it. None of the politics. None of the activism matters if our soul isn't anchored in the Lord, our Savior, Jesus. Because no one else has power to save, power to change, power to heal, power to deliver, power to set free. from experience and from a position of a person who has seen great things. These are the things that people aspire to. This is not a flex. This is an example. All of these things, all of this, all of it pales in comparison to knowing Christ. Oh, if you can get that, if you can get that, if you can realize that none of this stuff matters, it changes nothing. It does nothing. It is nothing compared to knowing him. It, com- it nothing matters outside of who he is and who he is called you to be and I'm telling you if you seek these things and you don't get him you have zero telling you you have nothing every creative that's watching me right now I'm telling you right now it is all all about him none of this matters none of it matters what I am yo I'm telling you telling you as a six-time Grammy Award winner, not nominee, not suggested, not on the list, not at the parties, not, I'm talking about one. I got the trophy. I'm telling you, if you don't know Christ, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection. (sighs) Man, man, I'm telling y'all, real talk. As you get ready to sign off, I know some of y'all, all you want to do is hear the music. You want to hear me play. You want to hear me do records. You want to hear me, yeah, 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 yeah. And guess what? All you're going to get is that. And you're going to be empty when you look back at your life. You're going to be like, yo, why does none of this stuff satisfy what I've been looking for? Because you was looking for the wrong thing. Looking for the wrong thing the whole time. And he was there all the time. He was there. Jesus is there the whole time. As you're doing your records, as you're getting your awards, as you're getting your Grammys, as you're getting your all the things, as you're on the stages, as you're playing, as you're getting people cheering you on, as you got fans, as you got followers, and you're sitting around here thinking, that's it. And you're gonna look up one day and say, Why do I feel empty? Why am I struggling with mental health? Why am I why am I tripping right now? Why can't I find peace? Because if you don't pursue Jesus with everything in you, nothing else matters. Israel wrote it. He sang it. It's the truth. Nothing else matters. Nothing matters. None of this matters. Life is a vapor. Except that you know Christ and you find value in the purpose that he created you for. My wife and I have learned this over years. We've been married 24 years and I've achieved so much. She's achieved so much. But none of that matters outside of knowing Christ. If there's nothing else I can share with you tonight before you lay your head down, know him, yo. Get in tune with Jesus. Get in tune with Christ, the Savior. Get in tune with who he is and what he is. What he has for you, his purpose for your life, his calling on your life, his plan for your life, his 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 
fingerprint on your life is what matters. Nothing matters compared to knowing Christ. I'm a witness, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It is amazing to do these things and to go across the world and do records and and experience the life-changing power of God in a space. Those things are amazing. But if you don't have him, if you don't have him, you have nothing. I just I just encourage you to just dig into the presence of God. I pray right now, Lord Jesus, for every creative that's on here right now. I pray for them, Lord. They're perceiving, they're perceiving that this industry and that this business and that this pursuit that they're after is more important than you, God. And I just I just call that out in the spirit. I rebuke that selfish ambition that causes them to jump over Jesus to get to their goal when you should be the goal all along. God, I pray that you would bring us back to a place of repentance, a place of purity where what we do is connected to the mission and the mission is connected to the the Savior, the Lord, the one that created the mission in the first place. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. I love you. I, I, I pray that God would, would, would strengthen you. I pray that God would enlighten you, that he would give you songs and he would give you ideas and that he would give you books and he would give you vision in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the, in the nombre de Jesus, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I, I pray that Jesus would be the center of your life and the center of your focus, that you would know him that you would come to fellowship with him. I prophesy that as you dig into the presence of God, oh, that he would satisfy all of those desires you have, that he would satisfy those desires, that he would satisfy those desires. I'm, I'm moved to tears right now for you. Because I want God's best for you. I don't want you to settle for second best. Our awards are great. But we should be after our reward. Which is him. Which is him. Say what you want to. And please don't think that I'm advocating for you doing less than best. You have to, you have to go for everything you can. You have to put your 100%, your excellence, your strength, your power, your might behind everything you do. You have to invest in your craft. You have to invest in your music. You have to invest in your talent. You have to invest in your teams. You have to invest in your writing. You have to labor over the lyric. You have to produce. You have to, you have to be excellent. But if you stop short of the presence of God, then everything you're doing is vain. It's vain, it's vain, it's vain. And it will not satisfy what you're looking for. It will not. It will not feed you what you think it's going to give you. So, with that said, I challenge you to continue to press it to the Lord, our God. There's no greater goal, no greater joy no greater joy than to know him. Oh, come on. We're getting ready to embark upon award season. Oscars are coming. Emmys are coming. Grammys are coming. All of that stuff is right around the corner. And while there will be winners, there will be people who will be reminded of what they did not do well, how good they were not. And if you don't have your hopes in things eternal, this stuff will throw you for a loop. You will believe that you're not good enough.
going to be some dark days ahead. There are going to be some dark days in our world, in our, in our nations, the World Health Organization, the UN, all these organizations are going to experience some dark times. And there are going to be some things that you're going to hear over the next few weeks that are going to shake you at the core of your soul. I want you to mark this moment. I'm speaking prophetically. There are going to be some days that are going to shake your soul. God sent me here to tell you tonight that he is the one that will hold you in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the shaking, in the midst of the breaking, in the midst of the news, in the midst of the challenge. He is going to be the one that's going to hold you. It's not going to be your record. It's not going to be your songs. It's not going to be your royalty stream. It's not going to be your pursuit, not your career. Those things are going to be shaky. But your hope will be built on a rock that is eternal. And that rock is Christ. I prophesy to you tonight that as the world begins to shake in the next few months, God is going to be the stable rock that you can hold on to. He will be the one that will hold your hand in those moments where you feel unstable, unsure, unqualified, unclear. He is going to be the rock that you can build your foundation on. Heed the word of the Lord tonight. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Hold to God's unchanging hand. The world markets are going to begin to experience great challenge. Those of you that are heavily invested in stocks and you feel like that is your security, you're going to be you're going to be shaken. Those of you that feel like your career is what's going to hold you, you're going to be shaken. Those of you that feel like awards are going to hold you, you're going to be shaken. Those that feel like your plan is going to hold you, you're going to be shaken. But on Christ, the solid rock, we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Yes, Lord. By his spirit, we will overcome. If you stay connected to the vine, stay connected to the rock, the vine. Don't lose hope. And don't let go. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. And uh, God is going to have us. He's got our back. This is not the first time in history where God's people have been challenged. We will prevail. I love y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me on this live. This is not something I do regularly, but I'm praying for you, Junior. I'm praying for you, all of you that have commented. I'm praying for y'all. Praying for you. I'm praying for my dog. My crackhead dog. <laughs> I don't mean to be offensive if that phrase is offensive. But my overhyped dog, she can feel the presence of God too. Y'all have a great night. Peace.